This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Happy Fiesta sa ating lahat. Palakpakan natin ang ating Pitsenyor Santo Nino. Luwalhati sa Kristong Hari. Luwalhati sa ating Santo Nino, the Child Jesus. And in this feast, we enjoy all the areas here in the Philippines and around the world celebrating the feast of the child Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to be worthy to accept Him in this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask for the Father's mercy and forgiveness. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. Isaiah prophesied that through the child who shall be called Prince of Peace, the Lord will grant peace and rejoicing to His people. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. As they rejoice before you, as at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him... Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne. And over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both, na- both now and forever, the zeal, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. adopted children in Christ. Paul reminds us to live up to our dignity by leading a holy and blameless life. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. Therefore, I, too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus, And of your love for all the holy ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. 
May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that there are angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Viva Pit Senor! Viva Santo Nino! Palakpangan natin ang ating Santo Nino. It's quite difficult to realize that uh, this is my first Mass in 2017. My first 9 a.m. Mass here. I was out for quite some time. At ako'y natutuwa dahil pagbalik ko, batang-bata ang feeling ko. Sobra. No? Feeling ko talagang batang-bata ako. Magmula kanina pa, feeling ko batang-bata ako. Feeling ko I'm only 8 years old. Okay? Why? Because all those who are serving, especially our lector and commentators, are all children. Truly, it is the feast of our Santo Nino. So to our children, lector and commentators, palakpakan po natin sila. <laughs> Hindi lang yun, tumingin ka sa aking kanan, mga bata din. Yung ating nagsasaxophone, bata. Yung mga choir, feeling bata. Yung, okay. At, Tingnan mo yung iyong katabi. Bata ba yan? <laughs> you might say, Father, nowadays, if you drive through EDSA, you will see many billboards. Many billboards of how to be young. Lotion, facial mask, cream, iba't ibang pampabata. Walang masama doon. But today, we will give you the true ingredient to be the child. And what does it mean to be a child in the kingdom of heaven? You want to become a child? Then this is the feast day to become children in the kingdom of heaven. 
The first reading of today, coming from Isaiah, talks about two kingdoms. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And I think the kingdom of darkness, ang kaharian ng kadiliman, ay hindi lang napipicture noon. Pero hanggang ngayon, yung kaharian ng kadiliman, nandito sa atin. Why? Because the kingdom of darkness is characterized by battle, by war, by violence, by subjugation. Yung bang pagpinapatay mo ang mga tao, you belong to the kingdom of darkness. If there is violence, you belong to the kingdom of darkness. If you kill people, if you kill their dignity, if you kill even as many people and even nature, you belong to that kingdom of darkness. And I would say, that is the kingdom of the world. But Isaiah is telling, there is this counselor, prince of peace. There is this kingdom reigned by a little child. And it's the kingdom of light. Wow! The kingdom of darkness is reigned by powerful people, by big people. But the kingdom of light is reigned by a small child. And we all know the child is our child, Jesus. Sa ating kapistahan dito sa Pilipinas, only in the Philippines, ang tawag natin, Senor Santo Nino. He is bringing us the kingdom of light to read away the kingdom of darkness. The second reading, St. Paul, in this letter to the Ephesians, is very, very particular and specific. That this child that we're talking about is our Lord Jesus Christ, the child Jesus. Very clear. And he is telling us, how is it to become a child in the kingdom of heaven? Paano daw maging bata, maging anak sa kaharian ng kaliwanagan? Wow! Para bang father, ako po ay magfa-44 na ako. I will be 44 this year. And I would say, how can I become a child in the kingdom? Yung iba 67, yung iba 87. How can I become, you know, a child in the kingdom? I remember, may mga pamaking ko yung maliit pa sila. Sabi na, Tito! Ano? Alam mo, biglang nagulat. Tito! Ano? Anong nangyari? Nakakita ko ng tatlong ipis. But you see the face and the wonder. Sabi ko, nasaan yung ipis? Yung isa nasa, nasa ano, kesame. Yung isa nasa ilalim ng kapa. Yung isa pumasok doon sa library. Para bang tatarating na natin yung ipis. At ako naman, pumunta ako, and in my, in my point, papatayin ko yung ipis. Pero siya, sabi niya, wag dito. Look at the wonder of the child. How is it to become a child? Meron yung pamangkin ko maliit dati. No? Wala, kaming mga, wala kaming mga pato, wala kaming mga bibe no? na inaalagaan before. First time yun nakakita ng bibe. Parang yung kanta, Tito, nakakita ako ng tatlong bibe. At yung leader na nagsasabi ng kwak, kwak, kwak. Wonder. It's, his, it's her, her first time to see a bibe, a pato. Ang nakakita lang niya sa amin, pusa at aso. Pero nung nakakikita niya, wonder. Para masabihin natin, wow, gusto kong maging bata muli. <clears throat> ang mga hindi na po bata, ay yung bang akala mo, alam mo na lahat. Hmm, bibe. Hmm, ipis. Diba? Yung bibe, mangitlog. Yung ipis, patayin. That's our framework pag tayo ay adult na. But look at the child. Feel the heart of a child. 
the wonder, the awe, the mystery of being a child. Until now, every time I, uh, I go to the airport and ride an airplane, parang it's already used for us, no? for some of us, na umupo sa airplane, ang next na gagawin mo, matulog. No? Hintayin mo ang one, two, three, several hours, and you will be there. But if you have the child within, bubuksan mo yung bintana at titingnan mo yung mga ulap. And you will see rabbit, bibe, elepante sa pamamagitan ng ulap. The wonder, the mystery, the awe of being a child. And St. Paul in the Gospel of today is telling us how to become a child in the kingdom of heaven. St. Paul is telling us the first thing. Be open. If you want to be a child and maintain to be a child, be open. Be totally open and be obedient to the Father. Ang mga hindi na raw sumusunod ang mga mahirap ng pasunorin ay ang mga taong wala na at nawawala na ang pagiging anak at bata. <coughs> tama po ba yun? <laughs> Abay, tama yun. No? May mga ibang magulang dito, sasabihin la Father, yung aking anak, teenager na, ayaw nang sumunod sa akin kasi lumaki na. Pag yan mas lumaki pa, Father, hindi sa susunod sa akin. But look at the child. Sabi sa bata, kay Lucy kanina, Lucy, ikaw ang kakanta ha? At dinagdagan yung podium kanina dito. Ang taas ng kanyang hinakbang. At siya ay kumanta. With all her heart. Look at that obedience. With all courage. With all confidence. Look at that obedience. Sana tayo ganun din. Gusto mong maging bata? Sa kaharian ng kaliwanagan, be totally open. Be totally obedient to the Father. And the Gospel is telling us two things again. How to become a child. Someone asked Jesus, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Ang ginawa ni Jesus, kinuha niya ang isang bata at mula sa ibang bata, sinabi niya, they are the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. What is greatness nowadays? Is it greatness when you have authority and power? And with, with your words, pag ikaw mag-utos, na lipulin lahat, mangyayari, is that greatness? Is it greatness when you have money? When you are in position? At pwede mong mabili ang lahat? Pati tao, pwede mong mabili? Is that greatness? Is it greatness when you rage war? Is it greatness pag ikaw yung may missile? Na pwede mong i-launch para magsira ng ibang bansa? At doon sa ibang bansa, ang daming mga migrants, refugees, na tumatakbo para isalba ang kanilang mga buhay. Is that greatness? Is that greatness when children are crying, women and family are disintegrated because of war? Is that greatness? Makapangyarihan ka ba pag yon ang na-achieve mo sa buhay? Nowadays, my dear friends, there are many expressions of greatness. That is the greatness in the kingdom here on earth. But what is the greatness in the kingdom of heaven? Be lowly, be humble, be meek, be a child that is open and obedient to the Father. Magpakababa po tayo. 
ang ating pinanggagalingan ay hindi ko kaya kung wala ang Diyos. Ako ay bukas ang kalooban ko dahil ang Diyos ang aking Panginoon. Susunod ako sa Diyos dahil ang Diyos lamang ang great, He is the greater, the greatness all over the world. That is being lowly and being meek and being humble. What else? If you feel that you are lowly, then Jesus is telling in the gospel, take care of those who are lowly. Take care of the children. Yung mga bata, bring them to Jesus. Take care of the elderly. Take care of those who are marginalized, the poor in spirit. Take care of them. They are the lowly. Then, if you feel that you are one with the lowly, one with those who are poor, abay, my dear friends, you become a child in the kingdom of heaven. Wow! Ganun pala yun, Father. Hindi pala greatness yung may authority, power, o pera ka. No. But the greatness is be a child, be lowly, be meek, follow God, and determine and recognize God to be the greatest in your life and He is the great provider. And if He is the great, great provider, then take care also of those who are lowly and those who are meek, those who are humble. I'd like to end this reflection in this Feast of Santo Nino with my own experience also in the area of Santo Nino in Cebu. One time, I was invited to be doon sa tambakan ng basura. At sabi ko, anong gagawin natin? Father, magmimisa ka at magpapaligo. So, ang daming bata sa tambakan ng basura. Nagmisa si Father. Pagkatapos ng misa ko, pati yung mga ilong-ilong ko, ang, ang uh, medyo maitim na, kasi yung mga bata ako mahawak, okay lang din yon. Tapos nagpaligo kami ng mga bata. And I was so edified. You know why? I looked at the volunteers helping me, helping us. Nung nakilala ko sila, wow, they are doctors. They own restaurants. They own buildings. They are rich people gathering together, helping the children. And I asked them on our way home, Why do you do this? Sabi nila, Father, what we have now are the blessings from the Lord. But these blessings are, will not give us meaning if we will not share it to those who are lowly and to those who are meek. To those who are marginalized and poor. I was inspired by them, these people who, at the status in their life, are already rich. But they become richer because they were able to reach out to the lowly and to the poor. Be that. Have this child in you to reach out more to those lowly and to the poor. Amen. We all stand and let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Holy Child reminds us of God's power at work in our humility and weakness. Let us pray with confidence to the Father, for we are all His children. Let us all together say, Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. Please repeat. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious may always aspire for the gospel values of love, humility, and service rather than power and influence, we pray. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. That our civil and political leaders may become fully convinced that true greatness is attained through service and care, especially of the weak and those who have less in life, we pray. Listen Listen to to the the prayers prayers of of your your children, children, Lord. Lord. That the poor and the marginalized in our society may derive strength from the conviction that they have a special place in Jesus' heart, we pray. Listen Listen to to the the prayers prayers of of your your children, children, Lord. Lord. That caring adults and committed organizations may attend to the needs of children of broken homes and those who suffer because of irresponsible parents, we pray. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. That our devotion to the Santo Nino may help us to grow in wisdom and grace before God. Keep the spirit of a child and live with our brothers and sisters in openness, freedom, and friendship, we pray. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Give us the courage to do your will, so that we may be worthy to share the eternal happiness of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being presented.
kasulatan. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Archbishop, the clergy, religious men and women, and the community you have gathered here before you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Camillus, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos samang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang St. Paul also tells us that when Jesus came here, we become adopted children of the Father. Kaya tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. And we have now the courage to tell, Abba, Father. Together we say, Our Father in Heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a childlike sign of peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass. We invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you all above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will be having a second collection to support the works of the Pontifical Society of the Holy Childhood, helping children in need around the world, especially in the mission territories. And we're, while we are having the second collection for the Pontifical Society of the Holy Childhood, may I invite all of you this coming Wednesday for a prayer meeting here at the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord with the topic, Let Me In, by Brother Vic Pestaño from the Acts Catholic Prayer Community. Announcement po, those who are holding to Santo Nino, babasbasan po natin iyan after the Mass, please go to the left part of the altar. Okay? So yung mga Santo Nino, please go to the left part of the altar. Okay? We all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Panginoon, salamat sa binigay mo sa aming biyaya ang aming santo ninyo. Nawa ang aming mga puso, katulad ng mga bata, ay patuloy na sumusunod sa iyong kalooban. Yakapin mo kami, Panginoon, upang kami rin ay maging kawangis mo sa mga aba, sa mga bata, sa mga nawawala. Ikaw ang aming hantungan kasama ni Kristo at ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.